This is my sister and my dog as my audience. Hello class. As many of you may know, COVID has shut down gyms nationwide and worldwide. But this has led to an increase in bike sales by companies like Specialized up 213% in August of 2020 as compared to 2019 in the Colorado Sun newspaper 2020. When you buy a used bike, you get great value at a much lower price, but it does come with some drawbacks such as cosmetic things like scratches and dings. Biking is a great way to get outdoors and enjoy some fresh air after a long day of work or a long day of school. For me personally, I have been working on bikes for eight years now. I've worked in three separate countries and I've bought and sold over a hundred bikes for on not only my personal benefit, but also for helping a charity called Cycles for Hope. Today, I will be discussing with you guys the three aspects you will want to look for when buying your used bike, which include bike size and type, condition and price of your new used bike. So online is filled with thousands of great deals, but also deals that you want to avoid. Size and type of the bike that you're going to be purchasing will be paramount to the comfort that you will be experienced as you're riding. Choosing the correct size of your bike will not only ensure that you enjoy your ride, but that you'll just keep riding day in and day out. According to Bicycling Guide Web 2020, to measure the size of the bike, you want to measure from the crank, the middle of the crank, all the way to the top of the seat post. And once you do that, according to cycling, Bicycling Guide, they recommend looking at their chart to determine what size frame you will need based on your height. So now that we have your frame size figured out, we must look at the right type of bike that you want to purchase. So according to Bicycling Web 2020, they have come out with different types of road bikes, they have different types of mountain bikes, and another really big category now is commuter bikes. So these three make up the main types of bicycling out there. Now, according to REI's online website of 2020, they also recommend looking at the terrain that you'll be riding in, whether that's pavement to loose gravel and sand, all the way up to nice paved asphalt, or even possibly mountain biking in mud and dirt. Now that we've discussed size and type, let's switch our gears and talk about condition. A great indicator of how well the bike is maintained is to look at the overall bike's condition. First, the first step in making sure that your bike is in great condition is to look at the mechanics of the bike. That'll include the brakes, the shifting, and other various components on the bike. Dryer from Bicycling Magazine 2020 recommends to look carefully at the drivetrain, which includes the chain, the cassette, and also the crank and derailleur. This will not only save you hundreds of thousands of dollars, but this could save you plenty of time from fixing and possibly going to the bike shop. Dryers also recommends that you do a, a thorough test ride of the bike to ensure that all the components are working, including the suspension and any of the bearings that could be anywhere along the bike. Lastly, he also recommends looking at the paint and wear. Dryer says that small chips in the frame are no big deal, but cracks in carbon frames can cost you hundreds of dollars to repair and are true headaches when it comes to fixing the overall bike when you buy it. And Dryer lastly recommends, if this is your first time buying a used bike, he recommends bringing a friend along that has a little bit more experience than you possibly, just so that you have an ease of mind that you're making a great purchase. Now that we have the bike condition all figured out, let's squeeze the brakes and let's talk about money. Money is very important when buying a used bike. You get better bang for your buck when you buy a used bike as compared to a new bike. First thing that you're gonna to wanna to do when you're looking into buying a new bike also is to compare prices everywhere. According to the Pros Closet Web, they recommend looking on like Check -a Flip and eBay to see if the price that you're paying for your new bike is the right price or if it's overpriced or underpriced. 
The pros closet also recommends looking at the bike's components to see if they've been upgraded and that could also possibly increase the value of the bike or decrease it if it's a true classic road bike or mountain bike. So once you've figured out the price of the bike, you'll want to determine if, you, if it's time to negotiate on the price or walk away from the bike if there's too many problems or the repairs are too expensive. The Bike Exchange Web of 2017 said that a cheap bicycle with a lot of repairs is not a cheap bicycle. And as simple and as straightforward as this statement is, this would have saved me a lot of money when buying past bikes. Cavanaugh from Bike Exchange also said to include lights and locks when you're making your initial budget for your bike, as these might be small things, but will increase your riding and your ability to ride much more greatly. So now that we've looked at prices, and we've looked at all the moving parts that come into buying one used bike, and all the things that take to get a great deal, we have learned so much. So in conclusion, we have learned that when you buy a used bike, you get a lot more for a lot less. But as I've said, doing your homework and comparison shopping and making sure that you get the right size and looking at the overall condition and the price, those are all big things to consider when you're looking online or looking at a yard sale. These tips would have helped me save lots of money and I truly hope they save you lots of money. And as one of my friendly neighbors has said to me before, a mistake that you make that costs you money is a mistake you'll never make again. Thank you guys for listening.